Well, the Prime Minister addressed the government's renegotiation of the country's catastrophic risk insurance facility with the Caribbean Catastrophic Risk Insurance Facility in the House of Assembly yesterday. He said the renegotiation divided the Bahamas into three distinct zones, Northwest, Southeast and Central, and structured payouts to allow for more relevant and fair assessments after any natural disaster. Received, Mr. Speaker, 11,527,151 dollars from the triggering of this tropical cyclone policy and 1,295,002 dollars from its excess rainfall policy for the Northwest Zone, which includes Abaco and Grand Bahama. The government of the Bahamas has received a total of $12.8 million from the CRIF CCRF insurance. Now, housing for evacuees from Abaco and Grand Bahama remains a priority one month after Hurricane Dorian. The Prime Minister announced a new proposal the government has pitched to the European Union. I think I have informed the EU ambassador to Belgium, Ms. Maria O'Brien, who has also had mission to the European Union to commence discussion with the EU to see how they can assist us in establishing, in establishing shelter centers starting here in New Providence and Exuma. I will also inform this parliament about a new land policy where we would provide house, where we would provide land, a new land policy where we would provide land for developers, and the land will be a part of government's input in addition to all the various tax incentives so that developers will have an opportunity utilizing all the duty-free concessions to develop affordable homes for our people. 